Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GBHBL.com for short, talking about the new album from the South Coast Four Piece Acres. The sophomore record, Burning Throne, out on the 3rd of March 2023 via a Wolf at Your Door Records. Now it has felt like a really long build towards this release, with single after single creating more and more anticipation for the full thing. The high quality of these singles has been extremely notable with the excitement for this album coming with the knowledge that Acres up to this point have already made a lot, a lot of waves based off that debut album. They're extremely hot right now and Burning Throne is only going to engorge those flames even more. <laughs> Beginning in punchy alt-metal fashion, the crashing injection of instrumental heaviness blended with earnest vocals immediately grabs the attention. The chorus given a meteor edge thanks to the growl of Silent Planet's Garrett Russell. He sounds immense on this track. Then we get the title track, which drifts on wings of melody, but has this weight thanks to the guitars that makes for a heavier sound overall, with bursts of energy, some strong and really moody atmosphere and a top shelf chorus. I love this chorus. Acres sound absolutely grand and it's probably grander than they've ever sounded before. Continuing the evolution of this band, it's really beginning to take shape now. And the monster that stands before us based off these first two tracks, it's gob smacking stuff. Two tracks in and I think most, as I was, was will be completely sold on this album. The heart is pounding, the blood is pumping furiously in the veins, the adrenaline is high. All because of the dramatics of Hold On and the post-tinged death of me. The atmospheric melody and chorus grandeur of both tracks is exceptional. But that's then followed by the ambient and cinematic sounding visual hallucinations. The mellow vibes of this track don't feel out of place when you take the whole experience so far into account. You know, this has such a strong alternative feel. Visual hallucinations doesn't feel weird where it's placed as well. Though, after that, it is time for something heavier and solid sounding with my everything. Acres slamming their instruments with more power all while the vocals croon dreamily before they come together for an epic sounding chorus. I've mentioned choruses several times throughout this review already. There's a lot of good ones on this record. It is this track, one of the most fascinating and infectious tracks on the entire album. But it's almost matched by the energetic metal intensity of Feel Anything. Acres are bleeding an unbelievable amount of passion with this track. as well as such depth showcased with a plum on Into Flames, a track that's highly melodic but oozes power, thanks to the backing vocals that growl, adding a layer of intensity to the soaring main. Before When You Are Gone provides even more relatable lyrical content, which you've got to say is a running theme throughout this entire album, some great lyrical content here. Lovely melodies, and again, again, a punchy ass chorus. It's almost sad to see the album come to an end, but, you know, we've got to get there and end is part and parcel of it. Especially as this is such an undoubtable major step up for Acres. It is amazing when you consider the high position they had already attained. And then they deliver this. A position that is now more than solidified with the finale of Lost in Our Own World. A track that is dripping in emotion. It is remarkably powerful. And also hits tremendously hard. Don't be surprised if you uh, find a tear or two shed here. I think it goes without saying, I'm a fan of this album. I really enjoyed it. I know Acres, I've followed Acres to a degree, checking in here and there, but playing and listening to the singles and the build up to the release of Burning Throne. So hearing the full thing, hearing how those singles fit in the overall picture was an absolute joy. This is one you gotta check out. It's Burning Throne out on the 3rd of March, 2023 via a Wolf At Your Door Records. You know what to do, check it out, come back here, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbill.com as well as via our social media. 
Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. As well as listen to my interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for? <laughs>